Last summer, I visited the Phuket Elephant Sanctuary in Thailand, and I felt amazed about the experience. Vicente, the manager, was really welcoming and he explained to us their mission. They were passionate about helping and they inspired me with their work. In 10 seconds, you will hear about their project. So, hello, I'm here with Vicente, he's the uh, general manager yes. of the sanctuary. Um, and I'm going to ask a, some questions. I voy a preguntar algunas preguntas sobre eh, qué pasa en este sitio y por qué es tan interesante, por qué hace que eh, los elefantes eh, puedan tener una vida digna en, en Tailandia. Estamos en concreto en Phuket. So, we are going to speak in English because we speak in English. Uh, hi, Vicente. Hi. Um, I would like to know why this sanctuary is like a proper sanctuary. Why, why is the difference between the rest of the places with elephants? Okay, so at the moment in Thailand there are many sanctuaries okay. and retirement uh, homes for, for elephants, which is a good trend. Mm -hmm. uh, we're moving away from the elephant shows and elephant riding camps mm -hmm. uh, where the elephants have to work very hard and are often abused to perform tricks and, and rides for visiting tourists. Yeah. Um, I think what makes a sanctuary is a real sanctuary. Uh, first of all, uh, you have to ask, is it a final home for the elephants? Mm. Uh, does the sanctuary buy the elephants to ensure this is a final home and they don't have to go back okay. to working in a riding camp or show in the future? That's one point. Okay. So that's um, maybe the, the key of, of this process, right? It's, it's quite a big point, okay. I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can ensure that this is truly a final safe haven for the elephants mm -hmm. and they never have to suffer again. Yeah. Um, you also need to be able to offer a large uh, space for them to roam around. Mm -hmm. uh, in the wild, elephants roam very large territories, so yeah. a proper sanctuary should offer enough space to, to roam around so they can forage, uh, they can socialize with other elephants and get some physical exercise mm -hmm. as well. Um, I think it's also important uh, to limit the interaction with visitors mm -hmm. uh, as much That's as possible yeah. here at Phuket Elephant Sanctuary, we still offer a short interaction, which is to feed some of the yeah. elephants, but only those that are yeah, that's okay limits, with it. Right? Yeah. But other than that, there is uh, no physical interaction with the elephants. Our elephants roam freely, mm -hmm. they bath freely in the in the lagoons and streams, mm -hmm. they forage freely, yeah. they interact freely, and uh, there's no interaction with the visitors. So the next question, Vicente, is about who are the team here and wh why the workers come from from a local places or different places. Okay, actually, it, it, it takes a big team to to care for a herd of nine elephants, like we have here at Phuket Elephant Sanctuary. Um, we have around 50 staff. Mm -hmm. uh, that includes the elephant keepers or mahouts, as we call them. Okay. Every elephant has one mahout. Uh, we also have a uh, assistant veterinary. Uh, who can do treatments for the elephants mm -hmm. uh, and then a lot of support staff uh, people who help maintain the sanctuary gardeners people who help prepare food for the elephants uh, take care of the elephants also people who have to take care of our visitors uh, we have service staff we have uh, people working in the office mm -hmm. we have drivers so it takes quite a big okay. team mm -hmm. that's nice so we are seeing over here like a new platform you are building what, what is this about? So this is actually the next level of ethical elephant tourism. Uh, at the moment we still walk on the grounds and as you can see we get fairly close to yeah. the elephants. Mm -hmm. um, but in the future this will be a canopy walkway. It will be a bridge uh -huh. 7 meters above the ground. So starting next year our visitors will walk on this bridge and look down at the elephants which will allow the elephants to be completely free, roam wherever they want to, <laughs> bathe wherever they want to and socialize with each other without uh, much interaction from visiting tourists. Visitors will get like a different point of view, yes, a different, different perspective. perspective. Yes. Yeah, correct. Okay. Now you know more about this beautiful and necessary project and their mission. Feel free to visit them if you go around Phuket and want to feel a great experience. See you in the next video and we'll have more about these great elephants. Our biggest elephant, Ketlia, she eats around 300 to 350 kilos per day. Whoa! <laughs>